This is Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer in CBS4 Weather Control with your latest weather webcast. Saturday in a tropics update for you. Here's what's going on. Very, very busy tropical Atlantic. We're at the peak of hurricane season. We have three named systems and each one potentially impacting land. Uh, the first one farthest to the right on the screen there is Tropical Storm Helene, uh, possibly becoming a hurricane as it moves through the Cape Verde Islands there and forecast to become Category 2, but should stay in the Atlantic after its encounter with the eastern islands of the Atlantic there. Second system, newly upgraded from Tropical Depression 9, it's Tropical Storm Isaac now, forecast to move to the west, forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane. Now the models are not uh, very aggressive with this storm, so for the, the folks in the eastern Caribbean there, there is a hurricane threat. However, it does not look like a major or Category 3, 4, or 5 type of hurricane threat. The uh, conditions in the tropical Atlantic are not that favorable for big, strong hurricanes. And uh, also there's some shear and some dry air. So the model's keeping that system rather weak. And of course we have Florence, forecast to become a hurricane once again, forecast to become Category 4 once again as it approaches the southeast U.S. A big concern, there's a, still a lot of uncertainty and the reason for the uncertainty is what's going on with the steering currents. Strong blocking high pressure forecast to develop and move north along with Florence, but Florence eventually outruns the high and then tries to go to the north. Does it go north over the water before it reaches the coast? Does it get inland before it tries to go north? Or does it stay more on a westerly track and just kind of goes west-northwest? Too early to tell. It's all going to be about how strong and what shape that western part of that blocking high is. If it's stronger, the storm will go farther to the south on the coast, potentially impacting, potentially impacting areas as far south as Georgia, even extreme northeast Florida. If it doesn't, if the high is not as strong, then the impacts would be more towards the South Carolina area, and then with a weaker high, uh, North Carolina, and eventually towards the, the Delmarva Peninsula area, as well as Virginia, could be impacted. Could be a big storm surge event, as well as a wind event, and if it slows down, could be a big rainfall event and flood event as well. So lots going on in the tropics. Stay tuned to CBS4, of course, and we will keep you up to date. Quick look at the extended there, where it looks like summertime weather for us.